Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I am Nastya from Ukraine and uh, due to the war I had to run from the country and I am now in Germany in the Hamburg city and in this video I want to share with you uh, how did I come from Ukraine to Germany how was my way and uh, was it hard or not how much money did I spend and my feelings about the situation in Ukraine now and the other information that I think maybe someone need or you're interested in or just want to hear my story so I want to tell you a story my way from Ukraine to Germany during the war please subscribe to our channel so we will tell you more information how to get here how to find a job how to how do we live and the other information yep and uh, first of all i am not alone here i am with my husband and everyone is asking the same question how did he um come here because he's not ukrainian he has a, a passport of nepal so if you're a foreigner you are you are able to leave ukraine legally and uh, as he is my husband we can stay together in the other country um, so we didn't have that how to say um, it was easier for me to leave the country because i'm living with my husband but it is very hard for me because my mother my father my grandparents they are in ukraine most of my relatives are in ukraine but most of my friends who are from 20 to 25 years old uh, all of them almost all of them left country i mean girls um just because it is hard for them to stay in home 24 hours and they feel that as even me i feel that it is better for me to find a job and to support ukrainians and i will be more helpful if uh, i do something from my side in another country than being in ukraine and it is easier for my father also to feed a smaller family not you know we lived five people and it is hard now to feed five people and it's expensive and no one has a job and money will finish soon if war will not stop as soon as possible and for me it is better to find a job here so i can help my father and my mother and my family and the other ukrainians who need help um, that's all that's why we came here and uh, if the war will finish soon of course I'm ready to go back to Ukraine because it's my home it, I, 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 I don't have anything here in Germany and I really hope that this war will finish and maybe in a month in two months uh, one day I will be able to go back to my home, to my city and start my job and rebuild the country. Yeah, this is what all the Ukrainians are dreaming about, to go back to their homes, to get together with their families and to start fixing, you know, many cities are damaged and they destroyed people they lost their houses their family members mm, um, i also have many family members uh, men who are 20 28 30 35 years old they're my uncles and they joined the army and we are very worried about them every single day Thanks God they are all alive, but there are many people who we know that are no more with us. Most of them, their families and small kids and 
this is very hard you know to, to speak about it it's very hard for me i i was i was getting ready to make this video for you yeah so let's start the story my way from ukraine to germany during the war okay i really don't remember the dates i even don't know what date is it today you know you know only it's day number 48 of of the war um so what is it today this is 13. okay today is april 13 so fast the war started on february 24th uh, as i remember it was in the morning i was ready to go to, to my work um, yeah and uh, I, I didn't open my phone, I didn't check the news and my head office of in my workplace they told me, Nastya, how are you? How's your family? I said, what? I'm, I'm fine, what happened? I'm going to a job. They say, come on, you didn't check the news. The Russia started to, um, to blast at uh, I mean, Ukraine. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's impossible. And everyone say, please stay at home we're not going to office today stay at home maybe day after um and you know this day after didn't come mm, and of course no one can pay th salary if <clears throat> if you're not doing job you cannot earn money and we stayed at home for two weeks it was very hard and it is very dangerous uh, to stay at home. It is very dangerous to stay outside. It is very dangerous to go buy food. And there were a lot of armies on the streets. Food is finishing in the market. Um, and those two weeks were hard. You are checking 24 hours, you're checking news. You, you cannot sleep because you, you don't know, maybe um, army, Russian soldiers, they will come to your city. <clears throat> or they will throw a bomb, you know, it was very hard and people start dying and so my mother said, okay, we four, like me, my husband and Sophia, my sister, she's nine, and my mom, we four can leave our country and go together to Romania. But after that, Odessa was still safe and my mom was very um, sad about leaving my father. And she said, okay, you two go me and Asis, you go and we will come when you will find some place to live because we are not going to Germany, we are just going out of country we didn't know where we will be living and my mom said that we have to live to find a job and start uh, like new life <laughs> cannot, uh, cannot say new life but just uh, yeah, t t to, to start earning money and we decided we are leaving the country. I wrote my friend uh, from the, my school. She said she also want to go and uh, we three decided that we are leaving in the evening and in the morning at seven or six, I think seven o'clock we left my home. Everyone of course was crying. I did not meet my grandparents. Mm, I did not meet anyone because it was very strict and the day you cannot um, go from one district to another and they're not living nearby to my home so i did not meet anyone before leaving i did not even tell them i told them in the afternoon when i was crossing the border to romania um, they said it's okay don't cry we'll not cry we can we will meet of course one day yeah, my father, he dropped us till the border of, um, between Ukraine and Romania and we three, me as my husband and my friend, we were... <coughs> we go to a checkpoint of border police, then we took a ferry. We took a ferry uh, to cross the border and uh, after that in Romania we found some volunteers, we ate food there um, and we took a bus, a very, <laughs> it was a very hard way, hard road, 
bus to the capital, Bucharest. We, I think it was 10 hours or more ride in Bucharest. And in Bucharest, we we're searching for the ticket to somewhere, maybe Germany, maybe Hungary, maybe just, just somewhere to go. And there was a ticket in the morning to Hungary. We said, okay, let's go Hungary because to stay in Romania, there, there are many Ukrainians in Romania, it's like full. You cannot find anything for free. And we are in a low budget. We really don't have money to pay for some apartment and you just move on, you know, somewhere to Europe. So <laughs> we slept five or six hours in the railway station in uh, Romania and we people are amazing there are many volunteers who speak ukrainian russian language and they helped us they gave us food water coffee wi-fi everything what we need they if you have a children they give everything what mothers need for their kids and if you have a dog they give you a cage food everything you don't have to be worried people are very they understand and they help and then um, we uh, what uh, we waited five or six hours in the railway inside we slept and eat food and slept and eat food and we take a train to uh, budapest hungary i really don't remember how many hours but it was many hours believe me <laughs> and then when we reach hungary I, we didn't have anyone there we don't know anyone there and Hungary is not giving support uh, like we my husband had a 30 days visa and Hungary is uh, we were not about to stay there it was not our plan at all and so we found a volunteer inside the railway station uh, who said that she can help us with a room Thank you so much for helping us and she found us a very nice ho room in the hostel for three of us we go there and we thought we'll stay there for five days in hungary just to take a shower at least because we didn't have a shower eat normal food or explore the city and to do some online job because me and my friend and us we still have some online job at the time to finish our online job and we stayed there for two nights we explored a city a little bit by walking it's an amazing city the capital of Hungary is very very beautiful many castles a river and uh, uh, many monuments in every every road every park everything there is a monument uh, historical building uh, Hungary is very historical country and I don't know but okay Budapest is very historical city yeah mm, and my grandfather was there in many many years ago 50 years ago yeah. and then we bought in Hungary we bought a ticket to um, Berlin because my friend who was joining us in our journey she has a friend there and we thought that we can stay in Berlin with her friend <clears throat> but that friend has only one room and she's also from Ukraine and she she can of course uh, put us in her apartment for some days mm, and uh, to be honest I found out that I have a family my family relatives here in Hamburg and they say that they have an uh, they know some German couple that have a empty apartment for some weeks so they can put us here for free and when he came to the Berlin my friend decided that she will stay with her friend and she's still staying there I think it's more than two weeks or three weeks I don't really remember and we took a train and we left um, the capital in the same day after one hour we left and we reached Hamburg in two and a half hours by train and then we um, come here people help us a lot and they're still helping us 
they put us in their house we eat breakfast together we are trying to cook something for them also some some ukrainian dishes and some nepali dishes or european and uh, we are trying to find some job uh, going for an interview and i'm talking to my parents every day and um, we we registered here in hamburg so we have to stay here and we are expecting that we'll find a job here and maybe settle our life and i hope the war will be over and i can meet my family my father because my mom and my sister are still in ukraine but they can come to me any day my father cannot yeah and if the war is over and everything is fine uh, maybe we'll go back to europe or you sorry ukraine of course i will go one day very very soon i feel it that we will win this and and everything will be fine and that's all uh, about our story mm, it was um, it was very hard but when you think that, that some people are coming from a very very dangerous areas by a green corridors and they lost their homes they lost their families you feel that your story is nothing comparing to theirs so of course it was hard in our how do they like when you're dirty hungry and you don't know where you're going and you're really tired and you're nervous because your family is somewhere and you're checking the news 24 hours till i'm checking the news every every single moment it's hard emotionally very hard but you know you're not in a danger so you should be strong collect your power go to work and help people who need help that's all thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have some stories from your life that you want to share with us it will be nice and we will read all of the comments all of the stories um, if you're in hamburg we are free to meet you and to go for a short walk maybe we can have a coffee or you can show us some beautiful places here because you know when you're meeting people you think that life is life is beautiful and you have to start life from zero you have to make friends here it is hard now i'm not talking that we have to make friends right now but one day and slowly thank you so much see you in the next video bye